I tell people I don't get excited for the music videos now as much. We can see all these BBL women and all that. Nothing wrong, by the way, if you do a BBL, but see that natural 2000s <laughs> Not natural black dead. chocolate <laughs> ebony fine women. Yeah. Huh? And you're welcome to Manisms, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another great episode we are going to have. I am here with my guy. How are you feeling? How's your week been? Not so bad. It's been a long week. Yeah. You know, people have been at home the way the country has been, but I feel like we all need a break. I think we, a break. I that's feel what, like that's we all we need. need a break. So a break. me, I will yeah. be outside this weekend a yeah. few times, you know. Yeah. But um, again, thank you to everybody that's been tuning in. We appreciate you. Don't mind me wearing shades. Your boy did not sleep yesterday. <laughs> I had one of my boys visit from Atlanta. Shout out to Jim D. And we were up all night. No, pause playing catching up and playing game because i know already that sounded funny so <clears> let me just say pause out the way i didn't say nothing he's one of my childhood brothers i ain't seen the guy in 13 years so obviously i just reminisced and all so it was good but um yeah man again thank you guys for tuning in make sure you subscribe to all our audio channels subscribe to the youtube medicines podcast subscribe to the spotify apple music so you can listen to our episodes and of course on youtube watch our episodes because i think we've been on a very good run so far we've had i don't know if you guys have seen that we've stepped up our stuff you see the amount (laughs) of celebs that see what i did there yeah mm, not bad celeb out now on youtube by the way go watch it that marketing degree is really doing his work he's doing his work (laughs) but we've had a lot of celebs on here we've had you know abuka that was just on we had Bayani, we had Dr. Broco. Yeah, we had um, Timini. We had, um, you know, we've been on yeah, a good a run so far. And we still have a lot of people that are coming. You guys, we've had a guest list for a while. So all of you guys have been saying, oh, we want you guys to get this person on the show. He's all about timing. Don't yeah. worry. It's in the works. It's in the works. You know, but um, man, let me ask you a question here. So I was talking to some of my younger cousins and all that and then this conversation came up and i'm like it's something we've been avoiding for a little bit but it's something that we also now i think we're comfortable enough especially because we've built the platform that everybody knows how we talk on menisms now that you know we can talk about it so i'm like okay the topic of porn came up right (coughs) and obviously they're at the Uh, age mm -hmm. now where they're starting to get curious asking questions and it just showed that i'm also an uncle loki because you see how they're already asking you for advice and you forget your age because to you, you are still a young person. Meanwhile, yeah. there's a real young person that's out there that's still trying to figure it out. So it's like, they're asking me questions about porn and stuff. And I was just thinking about like my origin, my period with porn because there was a long time ago, as we like to say, a very long time ago okay. that I did you're used gonna, to watch you're porn. You're going to say you don't watch porn anymore? We'll nah, we'll I don't. I don't. Okay. I can right. cover it. I don't. I don't. Okay. And the reason I don't, and again, we'll still talk about this stuff, but the reason I don't is because I had a phase where I watched it for a while and then you just get tired. At least to me, I watched it a lot. I ain't gonna lie, but hey, that's why I said like, I got tired because I started at like, okay, so the first time I actually saw porn, because I'm about to say 13 is when I can say I consciously made an is effort. It no. It was before that. But what I'm okay. saying is from 12 to 13 yeah. was the age I made a conscious decision to look for it. Right. Okay. But yeah. obviously, when I was younger, like eight, nine, there used to be this thing in America called Hotel Erotica that used to be on Stars Network or okay. HBO, one of them channels. And it only came on late at night. Right. So obviously, it's like you see a naked woman coming like in this hotel series. It was like a series. I ain't going to lie to you. So it was just like... I remember one day my boys and I had a sleepover. Everybody's like searching through channels trying to find wrestling and all that. Then he just came in. Everybody's like, oh! it's like, ah, what happened? It's just like, yo, look. And you just see this beautiful woman naked. Every have never seen. That's when you saw qualities of a man early because every boy was silent. Every boy was silent. Paying just attention. focusing, paying attention. Because the closest thing you probably saw to porn live on TV was like to us was when we watched like music videos, WWE yeah. and we saw right, like right, the divas yeah, 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 right. that they'll go in their bikinis and shit. And then like you said, even the music videos back then, like the 2000 music videos that you see women, as I like to say, because now I tell people I don't get excited for the music videos now as much. We can see all these BBL women and all that. Nothing wrong, by the way, if you do a BBL, but see that natural 2000s <laughs> Not natural black dead. chocolate <laughs> ebony fine women huh i said i can't wait to be an adult Mm -hmm. so i mean that was my first time seeing it but in terms of actively searching 
It was 12 13 once there was lime wire. But I'll get mm, into that. No, like, I'll get into that. My, but bro, don't well, I was going to ask you before I get to that. I was going to say, what about you? What was your first encounter with porn or when you saw something naked? Um, so, I mean, I like that you kind of distinguished between the first time you saw it and the first time you intentionally kind of went for it. So, um, so I think every young guy would always stumble. I mean, usually, you know, if you're surrounded by older people, you kind of stumble on it. Yeah. Either from someone else watching it or you stumble on like a video. You know, then it was the VHS. So oh, you yeah. See like a, then VHS. You see like a tape and then it's got like a little paper back and then you Black see, and brown. There we go. You know, Black so and brown. Could the first forget. time I saw anything like that was, I think it was like an older cousin. I don't even remember what cousin it was. You know, but they had like, and usually they would, so you know when, th- back then, when you walk into like your older cousin's room, everything is carpeted, you know, he's got his little bed in the corner, posters on the wall, you know, and then um, he had his little TV and with the TV he had his VHS player, everything. So he had like where he would keep his tapes. Then he had like the stash where there was always like one stash under the bed. Yeah. It's either in like a wooden box or like, so, you know, all this kind of stuff. So you know, it, it would be curiosity. You're like, I wonder what this guy is always hiding here and stuff like that. And it was me and a couple of my other younger cousins. And so we we're just like, let's even see what this guy is. And he wasn't, he wasn't trying to hide it, but mm. I guess, you know, the kind of thing where he didn't want to be the bad influence. And then they're like, hey, I'm not bringing my kids around you anymore. Fair. Yeah. So um, the first time we stumbled on it, or I stumbled on it was when, uh, you know, he showed us the tapes he had, but we never watched it. It was like, kind of, hey, yeah, we're not sure if we want to cross that line. We're afraid, stuff like that. The curiosity didn't kind of take me further. But I saw the back cover. I saw that it was porn. You know? The thing is, what's funny is, you know, them VHSs back then, they used to be very descriptive. Yeah. So like everything the front, was you on there. See the model girl there you in go. the bikinis, just long legs like this. Then the title would be very big and bold. Very like I said, and black bold. and brown. I still remember. And she's one probably VHS. wearing like a red bikini. She's like wearing no, heels. So for me, the black, because I used to watch more black American. Right. Yeah, I mean, like black American red bikini. Oh, fair. So and then the know, back now will have the description of just like, there you oh, go. model, this, 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 this. <laughs> yeah. So they so one the, for the one big black guy. Just... Exactly. So you could already tell, like, no one had to tell me that was, you know, um, mature content. But the very first time I actually, like, watched a porn video, this was 2001, 2002. I was like 11 around the time high school just started, you know, and then, then access to the internet was not what we have now. Then there was like a home desktop. That's the, that desktop was for the parents, but you know, of course, you know, then technology was moving or advancing. And so they would uh, need to give you access because school would always request that, you know, you bring home, so bring to school some uh, work and stuff like that, do some typing, blah, blah, blah. So at some point, you're going to need access to the computer. Mm. And so by virtue, you also need access to the internet. And then it was the dial up internet. You, have to yeah, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So, you know, I would um, come back early from school. My parents would still be at work. And then, you know, to them, it's like, and, okay, yeah, then surfing the internet for porn wasn't such a thing so it wasn't immediately a problem for parents to flag right so they didn't think that that was something they had to like put like security walls over and stuff like that and so i then this was if i i, I stumbled on it from this site called az lyrics so is I, I would go to the site every time to download lyrics and it was just a thing mm. download lyrics of the newest songs learn all the lyrics and then you know by the time you get school tomorrow you can rap everything anyways yeah so one day I think a pop-up came out. You know how the ads come up on all of the sites? So I think it's an ad came up on it. And in fact, then it wasn't side ads. It was a whole ass window. Mm. You know, you just click the wrong link and then one massive window of something would just, you know, pop up in your face. And then I saw it and instantly, because I already had an idea of what this was from seeing in the VHS, I saw it and I'm just like, hmm. you know, you know, kind of, there's nobody around. Let me just even see what this is about. And there was just something about porn sites that you know especially ebony porn sites they have purple was their <laughs> was their was their color theme you know and you just see purple with a bit of gold a bit of orange and i just clicked on it and i, I can't remember the first video i ever watched but i was intrigued mm. you know i mean obviously i saw things that uh i could only have imagined like probably what? not even imagined like what you know like uh yeah just like um what actual vagina looks like yes, you know actual, yeah and when actual, i say actual like, i mean like literally seeing what it looks like guess it you know and um <laughs> yeah just like seeing so the thing is subconsciously we're all we're all exposed to what sex would be like in one way or the other either through music videos like i said either through like 
movie scenes where they're, they're, they're censoring stuff, but they're kind of indicating that this is what's going to happen. You kind of, just the same way, you know, you'll be exposed to knowing what, like, uh, showing love is by kissing. Yeah, I mean, it's really based off, like, again, like you say, movies, things like that. Because there you go, yeah. even, like, one thing I noticed early was that, obviously, I watched a lot of music videos, and that already gave you, like, a little preview of what it could be. Not that they'll have sex acts in it, but obviously, there you go. But it's the girls you dancing exactly. sexually, you know, the bikinis, all that. It's just like, oh, okay, you get that feeling as a human being, then... It's like certain songs now that were descriptive back then. Like I remember there was this one song um, that it definitely I didn't know it then, but it was like now it makes sense. It was genuine, so anxious. I remember right. every time Long. like that music video will come <laughs> on, I'm like watching the video, and then I'm also hearing the lyrics as a kid, and then it's like I'm not putting two and two together, but subconsciously it's like it's putting an image there in my go. mind. Yeah, be- and, and, then, and it was also because you you kind of knew those videos were not videos you could even watch for your parents. Like, those were the first times you'd be like, yeah, I'm not sure I can watch for No, I think it's, uh, my mom, like, because my mom, I never watch videos from my mom just in general because, like, we'll always just watch TV different times. Yeah. So it was like, I watched everything on my own, but it was like, then, starting from the R&B videos, you started getting an idea already as an early kid, like, okay, what's this thing? Yeah. Then I also have the opposite side where I watch videos like, um juvenile back that thing up with cash money and all them that i'll see girls just shaking ass mm-hmm. anyhow that is like ah okay i have one extreme of the slow r&b side i have one extreme of the hip-hop side but i'm seeing women and visually how it is combine that now with the first time you now actually see like an active sex scene that you're like because <gasps> like i said mine was lime Mario where i was trying to search for like wwe videos because all the wrestling hey, the all the wrestling all Mario. the wrestling times now like you had to watch it on pay-per-view back then and then right. obviously my mom's not paying for pay-per-view so she's just like you can't watch any wrestling or you find your way so you either had to watch monday night raw or thursday right. night smackdown so one day i type in the wrestling match on the pay-per-view Next thing you know, I just see in the search that's coming on the other videos, Trish Stratus naked. I'm like, guys are fucking with me. Trish Trish, Trish Stratus. Like, and I don't know if you guys know Trish Stratus, but like, Trish Stratus was one of the goats. Like, I've usually never been a, like, I'm one of those ones that I'm pro-black in terms of like, I love black women, all kinds. You can be from anywhere. If you're a black woman, that's fine. I date for you. But for you, for me to really like a white woman, you had to be gorgeous, gorgeous. And Trish Stratus is one of those few white women I can say with my confidence that, eh, I would have done anything for that lady. <laughs> so okay. the day they now said, what's naked? I said, what? Ain't no way. Download. Obviously, I remember <laughs> the computer with was all in the my... malware and everything. The computer was in my room now, luckily. Yeah, right. So my mom seen now, obviously, will only use the computer when she has something to do for work. Then my stepdad, when he's home, which was like in and out. So, you know, at that point now, I'm home alone most times because I come home by three o'clock. So first time I watch that's, it, yeah, that's it, yeah. put the speakers down because I was like, nobody's here. Bruh, the porn I just saw pop up on my shit. I remember the first time I was scared. I was just like... <gasps> <laughs> And then obviously, you know what you just saw for like two, it's three like seconds. Two, yes. So after that, like, you know, look, you look check yep. the hallway. Yep. Go and reduce the volume small. Press that shit. You just watching you. That's like, yo. In fact, you know what? You just mentioned something because like, yeah, our first part was always no volume. Yeah, you can't watch no, it with volume. Because volume? No. Ah, no. I learned, I see. <laughs> no the game really was no volume just in case anybody's in yeah, the house. So you're just no watching and you're like. Then the feeling obviously gets to you as yeah. a kid. And like again, you start off just watching and then it's like ah ah ah. Then I remember now like when the level started changing. So like let's say the first year or two, you're just watching. Yeah. Then like we set it off camera talking about how like masturbation and porn are sort of linked together. So yeah. it's like by a year or two later, I now discover masturbation because obviously yeah. I've watched it in the porn now and even at this point now i know my type so my type was just ww because they're bastards now that i think about it they're bastards what they used to do is they would now start using wwe diva names for porn to videos to catfish but it's like other porn videos that look like the wwe right, divas. Right. so i remember lita r the day they said lita came out i said hey again went to go and search it was one red-headed chick that looked oh like my lita God. but it ain't lita time. But it's not Lita, so I'm just like, but at the same time, it's a fine <laughs> exactly. woman. So I'm just like, yeah. hey, then by that second year, you've watched videos, you've seen what masturbation is, and then you're 14. 
you're starting to get curious because what's crazy is people already started having sex at 14 in some areas depending oh, yeah, on where yeah, you were like sure. in my school sure. i know there were people already that had sex at 14 and i was like what because my first mm -hmm. condom yeah my first condom came from a girl in my middle school i'll never forget her she was like she was one of those girls that she was already fast at like 14 like but right. she was good people like she was the funniest and like smartest fine girl like this but she already was like moving quite quick so i remember the first day she gave me a condom and all that stuff because she's just like michael you ever had sex before? I'm just like, what? Nah, but I know what to do and all that shit. Oh, like, man. I know what to do. Like, oh, you know you don't man. want to admit that you don't know what to do. But I'm just like, yeah, I know what to do. Sometimes you even think you know what to do because you've seen a bit of things. I don't so know like, anything. Nah. I'm just agreeing. I don't know anything. Last, last, the only thing I've done is what to make out and kiss. That's it. Yep. But so she now says, oh, all right, you know what? You seen a condom before? I'm like, yeah. It's just like, what it looked like? Um... You just start trying to remember what you've seen in a movie or something. Girl just pulls one out. Go home. Go and figure out how to use it and all that. Then come back to me. Then I remember the first time I went to go and try it. So I had to now go and watch a porn video to go and see how the guys now put on condoms to now go and learn myself. And then from there, that's how I learned how to master it. Because I saw it, did it, bam, 14 years old. And that's a lot of things. A lot of people don't realize it's bad. Like a lot of us guys actually learn sex from porn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real shit. The thing is, mine is even bad because I think I got caught. So again, I told you this was the home computer. You know, everyone's accessing this. Now, mind you, I'm what? I'm 13. What do I know about technology? Almost nothing. I'm coming from the era of massive CPUs and diskettes. Yeah. For fucking crying out loud. You get so there was no millennial way. <laughs> so there was no like a uh, manual for make sure you delete the tabs, make sure you, you know, make sure you clear the history. There was none of that. So you would just search the site and just close it, close it, thinking you're sharp. But of course, my parents were sharper. These uh, guys are older. They know. And so one day, I don't even think it was my dad. I think it was my mom. So I think my mom had caught My mom used to use a computer more than my dad. Mm. And so so she was a banker. So naturally, she even she needed, used a computer. She, exactly. So I didn't. She caught on anyways. And then told my dad, my dad's the one that confronted me. Because <laughs> I think she must have told him, yeah, please. Because I, if I, like, if what I, do, what do I, if I confront him, him, I'll break his head. Like, what do I even <laughs> say to him? So my dad then confronts me and he's like, so, and I think, now here's the thing now. You know, I told you that pop-ups come up, right? Mm. So those pop-ups somehow end up on the history, on the browsing history. Mm. And one of the pop-ups was gay porn. <laughs> so my dad... Was like okay, we need to talk. So his problem was it was twofold. <laughs> it was like there's porn, but there's, there's now porn, gay and then porn. there's now the so wait, which one should I be worried about he's first? Not like, hmm, what kind of wild? Like, exactly, that's, that's like, exactly kind of it. Like, God, this that's is exactly it. Now. Like, that's exactly it. And he confronts me. He's like, um, you know, he does the whole sit down. I need to talk to you about a thing, and then he tells me that um, you know that like, they, they know I've been watching some pornographic content. That's what they would call it. Then they would never call it porn. And so. Um, I mean, I tried to lie in the beginning and he's like, see, just don't, I want to know this. Like, you know, I've seen you, you're watching gay porn. Is that, was that what you're, I was like, me, gay porn? No, <laughs> no, never. Like, and then he's like, what do you mean never? I said, and then I was not thinking, what is this man talking about? They did not occur to me that, oh shit. At that time. I was like, oh shit, wait, hold on. I know I saw some gay porn, but maybe you're by clicking. So, you know, sometimes even when you click on homepage, yeah. the homepage just suggests you, all categories. Mm. And then maybe out of curiosity, I'm just clicking to be like, oh, let me see what this is about. And that was just it. You get it. And I'm like, oh, gay porn. Nah, nah, nah. I, don't I think remember it's the thing. first time I saw, and this is not to be, I like putting disclaimer, it's not to be homophobic or exactly, anything, but yeah. it's just the like, has I'm speaking yeah. my truth. Remember the first time I saw it, I screamed so loud. <laughs> because again, it was one of those ones that you were just scrolling, scrolling. And it's so weird. And I think this is where I like, I knew early that I'm straight. Yeah. But this is also where I say it's also messed up in the mind, too, because it's like, first time I saw two girls kissing, I'm like, yeah. yeah. And then you're like, oh. hmm. Mm. Hmm. Like, you, you, you really get in, like, you get, yeah. like, I don't know what it is. Like, it's not, like, it it's is, not like I'm fascinated by it, like, yeah. regularly, but obviously just the natural male. I was like, yo, the first time I saw two dudes kissing, I remember I screamed so loud because... Even back then, nobody was as homophobic. I even believe, well, obviously homophobia has been around for a while, but what I mean is like, 
you remember as a kid or as a guy growing up, you could even do gay jokes with your boys or certain stuff. They're like, no homo, stuff like that. And everybody's calm with it. Like, yeah. you're cool with it. Like, everybody's like, like I said, you're just doing regular stuff that you can simply say no homo. But obviously, we see how times have changed. But yeah. I knew early, like, stuff like that when watching porn. Like, I, it's like, it sort of started, it was weird because it was like, subconsciously, it was letting me see what I like and don't like early. Do I like gay? Nah. Do I like two girls? Eh, I might be intrigued, but it'll never be my first choice. Right. White people? Eh. Because right. there was also a difference between white porn and Asian porn. Like, oh, this, yeah, yeah. For sure. This is like, for sure. there was you know, a mean, difference. There still is a difference. There's still, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> There's a difference. Yeah. And like, that's what, it's sort of like at that age, I started deciphering what do I like, what do I, what don't I like. And it was a very, and it's like, again, it's shaped who I am now in a uh, way because. I mean, this is a good thing you've just talked about now because. Would you say that, I, mean, I, would, I would say, I'd answer the question as well. Would you say that without porn, your direction sexually would have been different? Possibly. Well, because even like when it comes to like actual sex, I didn't have sex till later till like I was 20, 21. So early, like I said, I started noticing like, what do I like? Because it's not like in middle school, I wasn't like around girls and shit like you get what i'm saying like i had girls around me even in middle school as a teenager but i was never fast like right. i just always liked girls but i knew my limits you get what i'm saying but i was surrounded by people who may have been fast all that but like with porn now it was like okay automatically i knew i love black women that one has not changed i love okay. black women even up to now i don't yeah. care where you're from africa asia i said asia africa europe south america america if you're black, Caribbean, if you're black, you're black, I love you. That's, like, porn showed me, like, when I, you see the variety of black women, you'd be like, damn, like, black women are beautiful. White girls, it was like, okay, eh. Right. Like, some are pretty, but it's like, it's same for me. And then in real life, I never chased white women. Then yeah. Asian girls, same thing. It'll be like, yeah, you see a pretty one here or there. Have I dated an Asian girl before? Yeah, I've dated, like, a girl from... Thailand. I've dated a girl from Pakistan. Yeah, Thailand and Pakistan. Those two Asian countries. So I've tried it. Okay. Then South America, like I said, even with the point, like it sounds so fucked up. I know, but it's like as a teenager, this is what you were saying. So it's like South American, same thing. I love them. South American women are beautiful. Cause like I said, I saw it. Um Yeah. It just showed you a variety of what the world is out there. And because a teenage as a teenager, depending on your life, you don't really get that much exposure apart from school and home. Do you think it do you think it also direct I mean, yeah, we've talked about like, you know, the racial spec ish sort mm. of, right? Just physical look. But would you see like like body shape and like, you know, preferences with that? Would you see that that kind of like Oh yeah, thick arms. <laughs> thick arms. <laughs> I need meat. You can't be smaller than me. So do you, do you also think generally that uh, sorry do you also think generally that that's why a lot of guys like you know so you, if you generally put ten guys in a room mm -hmm. and you ask all ten guys you know thick or slim but it's not necessarily just from porn though like it's also your environment where you grow up so like I grew up in the south in Atlanta so it's like you see I mean well, I can only speak for lot like African guys by the way African fair America, yeah so it's like. You see a lot of black women around different kinds, but obviously they're a bit more thicker women in the South. So that plays a part. Then obviously, from what I see outside is what I also see in the music videos. So now what I see in porn is like, okay, this is sort of the premise. I like thicker women or so. I don't really like small girls. Like I've dated some, but it's like, it's not for me. So it did. It did for a bit. Like, Cause I'm really deep. Cause I'm putting my like the way I'm describing everything now is from my young teenage mind. Like the way I'm thinking my young teenage mind. Cause like I said, like I wasn't fast, but there was a period like I did watch it like quite like this actually. Yeah, damn. I think about it, it was a bad run. That's why I said I don't watch it anymore. Cause that teenage phase, there was so much. I'll be honest, there was a lot of curiosity, because in America, you know, like people are a bit faster today, so there was so much curiosity around you. But I feel like. Because I was Nigerian, and I also knew my mother was crazy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah! I knew that was like slim, my limit was point whereby like the thing I probably want to do, I go and try outside. I can't try it because my mother would kill me. Right. So this is probably like my only safe haven that I'm by myself. Nobody knows me or sees me and all that. Because it wasn't until like 
like I said, that's a long pe- pe- teenage period. Then you know what's funny is like when I came to Nige is when I stopped. Because in America, I had all that free time isolated in my house. But we came to Nige. First off, internet's where they stream. Like, that's when you first came. It's not like now where Wi-Fi did. Back then, 17 Damn. in Nige, it wasn't the same. While then, the Wi-Fi was stopping you from... The, Wi-Fi uh, stopped me a bit. Dead. Then he, he then it's like, I think also, I think like... What was it? Yeah, I didn't really... I don't know what happened. It's just like when I came to Nige... I didn't really watch it as much. And I think also just because I actually was surrounded by a lot of girls when I came. Right. So it was like, and then I don't mean that in like, I was looking at all these girls like in a sexual way. It's just like, I was comfortable enough because actually I'm seeing girls all the time. I'm with them all the time, like in Nige because of like where my grandma was, my grandma's school, all that. So I'm always in the school. So I'm around girls 24 seven. So when I go home now, I ain't thinking of nothing. Why? I've chilled with girls all day. The dopamine already has worn off. Then uni, what okay, what I will say the negative effect of porn had was by the time I got to uni, when it was time to start actually having sex, boy. Mm. There was a lot of trial that's and error. That's the one I want to hear. There was a lot of trial and error at the start. Because you're going by what you have been seeing in porn, you're like, yeah, this is what like do you remember this nigga Byron Pumper? Don't expose. See, no, why, you know, you look, know we I'm haven't. Grown you, know, you know we haven't talked. I, look, you know we haven't talked have, on my side. Look, I thank God for. Thank God, God has healed me. Like I'm fine. Like that was a thing. I can't talk about it. I'm no, piece. no, I'm definitely. I'm even saying that. You know, we haven't talked about. There's my certain side names that they're OGs in the game. First Who of all, Brian Pumper has the. I watched so much porn that. I mean, again, teenage years. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna speak my truth. I, I you had the stage. Hey, that's what I said. I So yeah, I definitely know. I mean this. I don't even want to start listing all the names of people I know because I would definitely seem like an addict. Yeah, let's, but let's I knew see. all the names. Did you know? I knew Brian Pump. I knew Wesley Pipes. I knew um, um, Justin Long. I knew uh, uh, Nat Turner. <laughs> let's be still. I mean, there's there's a ton of them. There's a ton of them. <laughs> you just heard a name in the background. <laughs> Yeah, did you know Jada Fire? Everyone knows Jada Fire. Ayana Angel, <laughs> bro. Like there we're talking. Of, one of my favorite porn stars. People one like of my favorite porn stars Cinnabons. died. Um, she got one of my favorite porn stars actually died like during her peak. You know who? What was her name? Um, it's not Jasmine Cashmere. Uh, hmm. yeah, yeah, she, she was, was a legend. Problem. She was legend. A <laughs> um, this is is actually so Jesus is Lord forgive me. Um, no, but it's, it's fine. What was her name? I forgot her name, but she right. was like a Caribbean dark skin, beautiful. And that's the thing. Like, I actually was forget the porn site, like the porn aspect. These women were fine. And so I was like Drake. I'm like, why are you doing this? Oh like, my God. So, you know, you know, we're so gonna upset. we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Later. I used to be so because, upset. Because I'm like, the women ah! were gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yo, it wasn't like these butter looking. It was like you see this woman, huh? Physically, if I had this girl as my babe, ah, I'm done. The women were gorgeous, gorgeous brown, dark skin, every color, and you just be looking like this men. These men don't even care. You know, you know. Sometimes I mean, just because of of, of the, what we're talking about, but you know, sometimes when you're um when you're watching a video like a porn video, and the beginning is you know they're still all clothed and they're, they're trying to make, and then you look at you like. Wait, is she the one that's about to... No. She, uh, you'll be looking like, wait, be like, why yeah, are you doing... The, like, uh, you just be like, why are you doing and you know, the thing on is, camera? And the thing is, and I feel like that's where porn started affecting me in a weird way because you started to see the people who in real life, you'd be like, oh man, there's, there's no way I would even get to see this person in that light. And then now you're seeing it so easily and you're just like... Oh, so does it mean that every person I'm seeing just has this? And it starts to make you want to objectify. And so you have to be the one to like step back and be like, nah. That's even one of the reasons why I said I, I feel like it's like my family always says like you have a conscience. That's why sometimes I can't go over the board with sentence yeah. called my conscience. And I know during that porn reign, my conscience will always be hitting me. You get what I'm saying? Like, it'll always just be doing me, doing me. Because like you said, there's a human aspect about it too that you're just like, uh, especially that po- it sounds so bad, but it's true. That post nut, you just make this like, ah, what am I doing? Let me, no! let me, let me, let me. If I post nut is what actually pushed me to just like really reduce some porn. Like, I mean, I, I would say I haven't stopped, right? Particularly because it's for a different reason now, right? It's um, it's more like I, if I watch it now, it's more because um, 
I'm actually wanting to, I'm, I'm intrigued to know what people are even doing now. Like what is, Fair. what is even happening now? Right. And, um, I mean, there's a lot of amateur content now. So you just kind of say, okay, what's, what's really happening now? People are getting so mad crazy about the kind of videos they make and blah, blah, blah. So you know? have you ever made a video? I have. Fair. I have. I'll, 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 that's I'll be honest with that. Um, that's that's uh, not the discussion for today. Another topic. Sex tape. We'll discuss that another time or not. Right. So, um, anyways, as I was saying, so yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Porn. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, making a video is porn, <laughs> well, so I'm just like... Yeah, ish. Ish. So, you know, and I think... Um, now, again, we've talked about the experiences. We've talked about, like, you know, how how we were really introduced into porn and what, what kind of effects it may have had, may not have had. But I think one thing we really need to talk about, though, is um, how it's affected or how it still affects, depending on who, expectations, not just from sex, but even from people... So I'll give an example. Um, so you know, because you remember those we, in one of our very early episodes, you know, we talked about sexual performances and how um, a lot of times the woman expects the man to be the performer. Now that premise only comes from somewhere, because not all the time do you see that the woman is doing a lot more work than the guy in porn. Most times, it's the guy that is. Yeah, most times it's the guy that is on top is the guy now is the guy that is even like uh you know um doing more work so there's a there's a there's a strength thing to it where you see that oh that guy's really giving it to her there's there was a perception and most times the guys were even like muscular buff stuff like that you know so there was just something about your prowess being tied to being a strong man being tied to your performance and how that's you know how you're perceived by the person yeah, you're having sex with used to do takes do you that's understand? All, yeah. Exactly. That's what that we all don't thing know. That was not 40 minutes straight at Thank you all. very much. That thing is take, cut, You see them not, do like... Wait, exactly. take, cut, not, wait, take, <laughs> see, cut, and you not. See them, and you see them do like five, six, seven, eight styles. You see them do... In one come round, once, come twice. you be an uh, animal. Now, now, by virtue of watching it, your expectation, even from the opposite sex, already came from that. So when you hear things like, ah, you can't even last... It already starts from there. I learned from an early age all that was bullshit, luckily. Because I think from the early... get, I think, one, like, it's so weird. You see how porn stars, the way they would do it, like, they won't even know each other. It's just like, hey, hey. Fuck. I found that so weird. I always found that weird. Especially when it now applied in real life, like, when you had those opportunities. Because it's like, you won't lie, like, even, like, early teenage, like, my early 20s and all that, like, them times you go on a night out and like let's say you meet a babe now mm -hmm. and you want them one night stands. I was never that kind of dude just because like I'll meet yeah, you. I've never had a one I'll meet before. you. Like don't get me wrong, I'm gonna get your number and all that. We gonna try and link up this week. See, because it's like I just need to know who you are. Like I won't lie. Just a I, I bit, had yeah, one. I had one one night stand and it was the most awkward, scariest thing to me that I was just like, bruh, I can't be do. I don't know you. Like I was panicking, but then I'm like. Then how do porn stars do it? But I'm guessing obviously their case is different because you're getting paid and proper for... casting. So it's more like you're an actor. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but it never the in terms of performance and all that, it never. It, if anything, I, that's what I said. It messed me up because I was trying to perform like a porn star, whereas like you don't need to do all that shit. So you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because exactly. you see the but everything that you think is rough is aggressive, but it's like. It's a woman that's really going to tell you what to do at the end of the day. It's a woman because that's going to tell you. she's the one that will direct you on your body. Exactly. She's the body. one that's going to tell you what she likes, doesn't like, and then she's going to tell you what's favorable to her. Like, And then you two, you're going to be able to read her body language that you're like, okay, yo, this is what you like, this is what you don't like. Compared to the post that you just say, ho, 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 <laughs> And then you two, you think you're killing it. Meanwhile, you're either hurting the girl or the girl is just like, what kind of rubbish is this? So it's like, I had to learn, unlearn that right to take that mindset away that that's why i said it like by the time i started learning about it and like certain women taught me that it's like at one point i was like i don't need to watch porn because again i'm doing the real thing at this point you get what i'm saying so it's like if i'm already doing the real thing what's going to watch it now do for me you get what i'm saying now the only time i won't lie there were some times in uni where like i reduced watching porn quite a bit because obviously now you're doing the real thing but you have like real life going on but it's like i know there are some days like there's some decisions i was going to make if i didn't watch that porn boy 
I mm, might regret mm, it. Mm, mm, mm. There'll be this some is days this is I am I there'll be some days I am messaging somebody I'm not supposed to message. Somebody wants to pull up that's not supposed to pull up. Somebody wants me to come somewhere I'm not supposed to go. So hey, self-induced watch, personal clarity. Hey, <laughs> watch that video. Uh, Actually, yeah, actually hey, the clarity I don't is think insane. I can come. I don't the think clarity I can come. is I'm insane. Just tired. From this. The clarity Bro, is insane. You could just sit down. J Hot said it. I'll be a genius if I didn't think with my penis. And me with me too. I sat down. And I said, there's so many decisions that could have been life or death if you really. You know. You know. Sometimes. Sometimes I actually start to worry about myself when I get the clarity because I'm like. Bro, are you serious? You were really just, were you really your judgment about to make your this judgment decision? was so clouded. Were you really what? about to make this decision? Man, I remember. And that. then you look back at yourself and you're like, "What is wrong with you, bro?" I remember there was one time one girl was telling me I should come and see her, and it was that period I was dating certain women that I was not supposed to be dating. Fair but enough. um I was going to go somewhere in Lekki late at night. Not phase one, no. Lekki. We just said. <laughs> and it was like (laughs) oh my god and let me not lie to you yeah i'll be honest the first time i went up there it was deep in this area lucky that i'm just like nigga where you at that even where she stayed i'm just like "Hmm." i I don't judge anybody because hey you're a young woman at least you got your own place you got your own place you got your own tv you got your i mean the the setup a bit (laughs) but i am not one to judge you got your own place you get what i'm Mm -hmm. saying so i'm there all right, first time I'm there chilling and all that stuff, but I ain't forced to nothing. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you invite me over, it'll be by force, so it doesn't mean anything. I can come chill and go home. That's what we did. You could see the tension was there, but it's like I was still holding back. And sometimes I do that because I want to know, like, you know, if you've been talking, you know when you've been talking on, like, the phone for a minute, then yeah. you finally get invited over. Like, for me, some most times, like, that first time doesn't mean anything because, like, make I just see how you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, boom, I go home. I think a few days later during the week, she now texts me one time in the late night or more. They, they hit me. They hit me. She's like, why don't you come and stay over? All that stuff. So I'm just about to start packing my stuff. And now look at the time, 11 o'clock. Maya, you want to leave this house at 11 to go somewhere in Lekki that you already know is dodgy and questionable. Now this same baby you're going for, do you really want to go and see her and stay in that house for the night? My nigga, Phone up. <laughs> I was like, do I want to watch like it? Medicine. I don't want to watch it. But at the same time, I can go. But by the time I watched it, if you see the clarity that came to my mind, it's like I was just insulting myself. Saying, yes, you that's fool. It. That's you it. fool. You fool. Look at you. You want to go to where? <laughs> Lay down. Oh uh, and that's how I just went to sleep after. And then, of course, the next day, hey, B, what's up? Hey, sorry about that. You know, I fell asleep and all that. But we'll, we'll plan another day. Yeah. So, so, I mean, this is a very good scenario. And I say this because... It brings me back to the question of watching porn now. Let's say you, because I mean, these temptations are all around us regardless, even as people who, not just not just a, a single guy, even if you're a guy in a relationship, you're married, temptations are still out there, right? Mm. Now, would you say then that these moments, because for whatever reason, let's say, for example, you know, your sexual life is having a rough patch or whatever it is, and that's not the opportunity, that's not the point in life that somebody else is presenting herself to you, and... You know, you definitely don't want to be infidelous, but, you know, it's tempting. Like I said, that's, that's what temptation is, right? It's tempting. Now, would you then say that this isn't an advisable route to go? You know, you just open it up. I mean, you rub one off and just, you know, call it a day and say, okay, let your mind just be clear. Wouldn't you say that that's also something that just therapeutically can take you away from that? rather than, Because it's, it's tension, right? It's tension built up. The what then happens your, is that clarity comes babe. after the tension. do it to your babe. Like her videos, like her pictures and stuff? No, what I'm saying is like, if another, I guess, if you're married now, let's say yeah. you're married now, and that tension from outside that other babes may be giving you at that time when mm-hmm. things were not working out. Yeah. I guess, again, you have your babe there. No, and I don't say this in terms of using your wife as a sexual object. Yeah, okay. Because it can also be vice versa for the woman where maybe she's going through a rough patch and mandate and she can do the same thing to her husband. Uh-huh. But obviously, from the perspective we're talking about, it's like... That's why sometimes you actually have to date your partner. You get like the way a lot of dudes, especially in Lagos now, they say they do. They'll go out. They always leave their babe at home. They never take their babe out. I've never. And understood. then you now be going out seeing babes, just looking fine as fuck. But your babe is always home. You've never been out with her and all that stuff. Like 
duh, of course you're going to be tired every time because you don't even take your bed. Like there's sometimes you might shock you, your baby, and you might be out there, you might see a body, and both of you just be like, yo, see that girl? They're like, damn. Both of you see, I, I've had that before where I've been out with a girl, and then there's a girl we both like we both. If I actually let me not say that part, but yeah, it's another story for another day. But I remember we were out one time, and then um the girl now walked by, and she kept saying, "You know that girl keeps looking at you," and I was just like, "Huh?" I obviously go act stupid, and it's like, "Yeah, she's there." And you're like, "Don't worry, I'm looking at her too." Hmm. <laughs> so I'm thinking there's an offering about to be offered, which is you know the other thing, and I'm just like, hey, this is too much. This Lola. too, this too much. I'm like, look, I'm focused on you and all that. But I was like, no, you can look. She even told me, like, yeah, you can look. But the tension will still come back to her. Yeah. So I'm just if you have a partner too, if you guys have that kind of tension, like again, you have your partner that you unleash that tension together. That's why I say you can't really. Yeah, not so do- uh, yeah, that that would definitely only work if the two of them are really compatible. So you know, there's a time though points in marriages. Again, of course, I'm not married. I can only speak based on what people mm-hmm. are talking about their experiences. Um, you know, they, they would say that, you know, it gets to a certain point. They're just in the marriage because they are already married, right? But then it's not as if they're not sexually, both, both sexually active. So in cases like that where you don't want to be infidelous, but, you know, you've tried to have sex with your wife, either your wife is just not having it anymore or, you know, libido levels are very low. I can't really imagine. What happens well, there? Not that I can't imagine because it could happen, but it's just like, I mean, you got to make sure that those, you got to find. Those internet, that, that data subscription about to go up, shit, I'm going to be surfing black people, ebony life. No, I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> young sometimes. girl meets teacher. with. <laughs> This guy did not just say again, again, right? This is not us saying you should keep it's watching. It's definitely porn, not me. Right? Girl. Yeah. I hated that role yeah, playing the, bullshit. That I, 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 thought, I thought it was so corny. I, I thought it was so corny. It was so I thought it was disgusting. so corny. I'm just like, can we, yeah. can we, hey, quick, 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 quick. So but yeah, like, you know, it's, we're just saying that, this is us just saying that there have been the saving sides of watching porn. Just, just so we're opening up the, the, spectrum of the conversation right so it doesn't mm-hmm. seem as if oh porn is bad porn is bad but we've had had we have had situations where it's had its good sides mm-hmm. and this is one of them right where you don't have your partner to actually you know release all that sexual tension on and so you kind of have to find another route mm-hmm. the human body works in a way that you need to have that you know expunge you need to have that you need to just clear that backlog right so those are the times where porn comes into play i guess it now becomes a thing of um what you take from it because like i said even for guys, a lot of guys have had their esteems trampled on because of porn. You get there, you watch one guy with a 13-inch penis, a 12-inch penis, and you, you're, not, you're not there thinking, hey, this is the standard. And the thing is, we're now in a society where, well, not even now, even that back in the day, women also say, ah, if not, it's not big, I don't want to, I'm like, No, okay. but some of them, them niggas used to be like, some of them used to use pumps and all that stuff. Of course, stuff. and then even like those the camera angles. The average even is, is like, that's big, that's big, obviously, but the size of these porn stars that you see is like, this or something it's like you too humanly does that even sound even does that, <laughs> woman does that even look attractive you want you want something this big no. ah, you're an animal like <laughs> like there's big there's big you guess like nobody's saying go and settle you get but i never i first i used to let me know like first i used to be touched about it because you just and i hate i think that's why i changed my style like once i discovered pov i was like i yeah. am never watching yeah because i used to so. hate just seeing men i'll be like oh why am i seeing this naked ass dude i'm looking for the woman bro pov focus on her Bam. Right. That's how it was. Right. Yeah, yeah. And and I think um actually it's a very interesting journey you would have with porn because you start with just anything. And then you keep progressing and then you're like, mm, okay, that's not my thing. This is not my thing. Mm-hmm. This one is my thing. Then a couple of a couple of months to years later, you're like, that this is actually not my thing anymore. Not my thing anymore. You I'm know, and then let me shit. just go into that. In fact, I think like you said, or like you asked me if I'd made a video before, I feel like if you've made a video by yourself it will be hard for you to not want to do POV. Like, if it's hard you, for, if you made a video by yourself? Like, of yourself, rather. Oh. Right? It will be hard for you to not want POV as your uh, content because now you've seen what a video of yourself is like and so that becomes... Again, this is obviously my own, you know, you now see a POV, POV video and you're like, okay, I'd rather this than an acted... You know, I can tell that she's only mourning because she, she's told to mourn in that scene and she's only he's only like, you know, doing whatever he's doing because... This is all scripted because the scripting makes it feel less authentic. That's what, like, you sometimes can tell, you can learn from it. That's when you learn, like, the different, like I said, in categories. Because yeah. at first you just say porn, porn. Then when you start noticing, wait, this shit fake. There you go. <laughs> you this know, shit so, fake. And that's the thing it? is, and the thing is, relationships actually can gain from it. See, let's let's not 
let's not again make it like oh it's bad 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 because the truth is that the same sex you're you're having you had to learn a bit of th- a thing or two from somewhere from someone right so it's look at it as like a case study okay some people have already done it let me go and see how they did it now and, and then like i said it's about what you take from it so if this one is doing snake monkey shadow style this one is doing one leg this one is hanging down the ceiling you pick the one that works for you some people just believe that oh yeah it's missionary or nothing because there's a way i saw one this didn't if it doesn't work for you then you're taking the wrong things from the porn because the truth is i feel like i mean think about it there's lots of you know couples who've had like uh problems with their sex life and they've always been referred to just maybe watch some adult videos maybe that can trigger something in both of you this is an example do you understand so mm-hmm. it, it's all about what you really take from it but of course in the younger ages we didn't know nothing about that bro in those teen years <laughs> come on now you just experiment bro and i and i think you know let's like we can even touch on a little about you know how it gets addictive because of course there's a rush that comes with you know, masturbation or even like actual sex itself that, um, you know, it keeps that source close to you. You want to have a, a bit more of that. And so a lot of teenagers you know, had low sperm counts back in the day because of it. Because exactly, you know, so you're just always, you're just always, you always just always want that rush. It's not even because you're, you can't even explain that you're just always horny. You I just always want be, that rush. I used to just be excited after school. Like, ah, shit. Exactly. The excitement. Like, exactly. Ah, and I, I think the I thrill of not being caught was also part of it. Like, you know, you're doing this thing that there's nobody on the face of the earth say, that you knows You'll never about. get the feelings of the busting another as a kid or a teenager, as a young person. Again, when you get older, man, it's nice, but it ain't the same as because there was that excitement. Oh yeah, of course. Like at this age, not. That and you were discovering excitement. things that like, you good. Like you were literally it's not like, like there's not excitement now, but it's like you at this age, you know, you've seen shit, you've done shit, so you know what's coming. But then you didn't know what it was like. Oh, like, just like now, ah. now even the clarity hits harder. You're just like you can't see you at your big age. See what you're doing. What I'm saying when you get the clarity now, or like then you were younger, like you still now you get the clarity. You're just like can you see yourself, bro? Pack this shit up. Just stop whatever you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, so and, and so I guess now it's 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 a bit weird, but yeah, but I, we I did mean, have a, what I'll say is like advice to anybody out there, like in the porn thing is like, I feel like I said I I just say it's a, it's a slippery slope. Like if you haven't watched it now, like let's say you're somebody that doesn't watch it now, I'm gonna say go and start watching it. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying, but so you get done with it early enough because no, it will come to you at some point somehow. No, I mean. No, I mean, and as I said, it depends because there's some people that have good sex lives or figure out stuff without watching porn. Of course, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's other ways to learn about stuff. There's also communicating with your partner. Like, oh, I Who saw has this photo. Porn? I saw this video. I saw this that we could possibly try. Because, like I said, even watching the porn, she might even start giving you that illusion of, like, other people. Because there you might go. start thinking, like, oh, like... Imagine what it would be like with her or maybe another person that looks like her. There you go. So that that, that, actually, that imagination is actually one of the things that causes problems. So there's the imagination too that causes when you could possibly have somebody right then and there, like that's right there. So it's just like, why would I want to now put myself in it? Which is why I said one reason I try not to watch it anymore and I don't really anymore. Like probably have that once in a blue moon case, you know, right. once every quarter. <laughs> you know, you, like you have one period in the quarter of the year that you're just like, nah, man, today's a stressful mother. Nah. You know, the funny thing is that there are sometimes I've actually, like I said, maybe slippery slope in sex life or in our sex relationship, and I'm trying to just get maybe you know, you know, there's there are times when you guys are both trying to work it out, and you're like, you know what, today let's give it a, a try, let's you know try and make it all sexy, make it all this, and then you're there like, yeah, sure, give me a second, then you go to the bathroom, just like. Oh, this guy's not responding. I need to watch a bit of something, and then you open up any kind of site just for a bit of excitement to get your just just to get the blood flowing. If I gotta do that to you, I wasn't meant to do you. Yeah, I wasn't that's... meant to because it happened to me one time. I remember I went to the bath. I'm like, nigga, you've been waiting for this. You've worked for this. This is what we've positioned ourselves for. You are fine. <laughs> no, you drilling you him. You know what's about to happen. Um, uh, Mr. Man wasn't agreeing that day, man. I don't know if I was tired. I was tired quite a bit already because it's like I already had a long day. Then I was on my way home at like 10. Girl, and I said, where you at? It's like, do you want to pull up on me? I am tired. Mm, by the same but time, I cannot tell you. I can't tell you I'm tired. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah, I've been yeah, waiting yeah. for this call up. Don't, in fact, I said, don't worry, I'm going to buy some. Uh, you, what do you want? You want something from the store? You want some stuff? I don't worry, I got you. I'm getting there. This is me. I'm half awake. I have to just fight together. It's like, hey, don't, I, I'm good. Like, 
And then obviously, by the time you've lasted that hour, because that hour is the first test of you even staying awake. Yeah. Because she's already asking, are you okay? And all that. Like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, by the time it was getting, you know, close to it, that, okay, we went to you start kissing, all that stuff. Bro, this man was not a green game because the body was tired. Went to the bathroom. Hey, I'll be right back. All right, just give me a sec. Sit back. <laughs> ah, the fuck? Shit. Yeah, let me watch. Um, so, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Watch it on low volume. Just be watching like, all right, all right. Nothing. Yeah. So, you know, you, know, you, know, you know, the thing is, um, because I wanted to touch on one more thing just before I, just before even, you know, kind of wrap up this topic. But, and I think this is one that really, because I even had to work my way out of this, is the addictive part of it. I think I mentioned earlier. Um, there was a point in my life that I think I was addicted to porn, mm. but not even addicted to porn like, in a creepy way that, oh, I have to uh, get, I'm, I'm in a public place, I need to quickly find, no, 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 it was never that creepy, but, not again, not even saying that the people who experience that, you know, it's a bad thing, people have their ways, they have to work around stuff, you know, so, you know, not that that's even like, but I'm saying that that was not the level I had gotten to yet, but it was, um, it was at the point where I actually could tell myself that you need to stop this, like, this is actually horrible for you, and I think when I got to notice was the first time, notice the first time was when, uh, when I realized that I would, I would want, I would look forward to getting back home or getting back to being alone, maybe not even home. Let's say I'm at my, you know, I'm back home, maybe I'm still staying with my parents at the time and, um, or I'm staying with my brothers, everything. And I'm just hoping for a moment where I'm just alone so that I can open up some porn. Now, th those were the first signs because at that point, Every single alone time instantly translated to I must porn watch time. some porn. Yeah. Even when I, I'm not honey, I'm not anything, but it's just like, okay, let's just open it. You know, and from there, of course, you watch the porn video, you get aroused a little bit, and then it became so frequent that alone time, I'm already like, yeah. So that was the first sign. I had to actually actively tell myself that you don't need this. Like, this is not, in fact, even had to start from you literally just finished. You just finished. Can you relax? You know, yeah. and that was at the point where, like, yeah, okay, this, this is not healthy. This is... And I think it was worse off for me because it wasn't affecting my sex life. If it was, maybe I would have even identified earlier. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't affecting my sex life at the time. Of course, that might be a peculiarity, it's just me. But it wasn't affecting my sex life. So I didn't have as much drive to cut off that addiction early enough. And so it just became part of my daily, you know. Um, I go to the shower, I'm about to take a shower, a long time you know i in fact i'm even just going to the toilet maybe for like a number two i'm done i'm washing my hands and then i just see the i just see the hand soap right there i'm like a long time again it's you know when when it first started it didn't the register really as something that, that was a heavy really problem. just said the hand soap jonathan no but let's not even talk about the different the different phases of there's the lotion there's the petroleum jelly lotion jelly yeah but hand soap you know, and, and the thing yeah. is, you you couldn't identify the problem immediately because it seemed like it seemed harmless. There was nobody else involved in that situation except you. So there was nobody, you're not harming anybody, you know, except yourself. So it was very difficult to identify in the beginning. Like I said, until I started getting to the point where even when I didn't want to, I found myself opening mm. up porn sites. It, it took a lot of self-clarity. It took a lot of, you know really reflecting on what exactly I was doing in the moment. I have to be going, and uh, midway watch, I'm just like, what are you doing? At this point, I'm just even watching it, not even because I need to, but because I'm now in the situation where I only get to watch it. No, I prayed, I prayed about mine. I just literally talked to God. I was just like, bro, I'm tired of doing this. I remember even at the teenager. I, I actually worst, had to pray. The teenager one was the funniest one. When you don't watch it, you'll be, you'll be crying on your floor. God, I swear to you, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> God, this is my last time. Oh my God, bro! Don't even get me God, started. If you just give me one more chance, so, you, know, you know, you know, when you're, if you give me one more chance, I'm not watching this now, anymore. You know, you know a when you're in church, later, you're, you're back, back, of course. Ah. A month, bro. I'm, 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 I'm for your tolerance. No, I used to fight it like I'll be the week. So when you promise God, then when you break it, ah. So you know those, you know those moments when you're, um, it, it might be in church. You know, then you would have like the teen section, and you know, maybe while you guys are praying, like a closing prayer, just you know what, um, and the maybe the, um the coordinator is saying in the prayer that oh if you you know all the things that uh, people cannot see remember that god can see it mm. 
bro. I tell you that for the first base, like there were days I'll go back after church sober. Yeah, and when I pick it up, I'm just like, these guys looking at yeah, me. And that thing, that thing never used like to that. scare me so stupidly because well, I'll just be, once I turn off all the lights, going under the <laughs> copper, he ain't seeing me as I used to think. He doesn't oh see me. Goodness. The lights are off, it's dark, I'm under the cover, he ain't seeing me. That was my stupid thought there. But now it's like, I said, you just have to get to a point that you really just have a lot of self-actualization and just say, okay, is this really for me like and i think even for me like there was a point even like i know i was at a crossroads in my 20s where it's like i had a lot of access to i don't want to say it like that because i'll sound rude but it was like if i say free pussy as we like to say to women just to, to women who, yeah. me, obviously it was just like then there was a time that it was there and i was just mm-hmm. thinking like if I watch porn, especially with this phase I'm at now, because I was at the cross was that I can just go be wilding out like crazy because people mm-hmm. thought I was, but I actually wasn't like that. But it's like, I could go crazy. But if I start watching porn along with this mind, uh, like phase I'm at right now, it, it was a whole damage. It will do yeah. so much more damage than it needs to. And like I said, you just start realizing too, like when I think it's also for me, like as I got older, how like you realize sex really like can mess you up if you're not careful. Because for guys, we talk about it, we always talk about it from perspective of, like, women after them. But we don't talk about, like, men, like, how we think about sex. You get, like, we always act like it's not an emotional thing for us when it really is. It can fuck with your psyche. It can mess you. If you're, oh, yeah, of course. You're fucking of with course. the wrong girls and all that. It can mess you up. Of course. And nobody talks about that thing because you just say, eh, hey, but she's a body now. It's not, but you know, you know the thing is a lot of all these things actually require that you you just have to kind of go through life because if somebody told me when I was seventeen that ah you know this point is to be bad for you I'm like yeah I know it's be bad for me thank you but it wasn't enough to stop me because you there's certain things in life you'd have to experience that will kind of give you the reflection you yeah, need you know so like, and that's what I said for me is like I tell my youngins now uh, anybody when I give them advice like I know I've done it I've done a lot. But at least I've done it that I have an understanding of what I did that I can acknowledge it. Like, that's why I said, even us talking about it right now is not talking about it in a shameful way that is like, ah, what would they say about me? It's like, trust me, everybody got skeletons. Like, be exactly. all, everybody exactly. don't have a phase that some people are still shy and nervous to talk about. Mm-hmm. And talk about it because I'm not in that phase of life anymore. Exactly. You understand? Like, and if anything, I've learned from it that I don't want to go backwards. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. But I think it's something like, again, what do you guys think? I want to know, like, I feel like a lot of people have had that period where porn was a phase in their lives. How did you handle it? During the phase, how did you get out of it? You know, those are some of the comments we want to see from you guys. So please, definitely, if you're watching this episode, comment below. Maybe share your story if you're confident enough to, you know, share your story. And then, yeah, share it with people too you feel that are struggling with porn. Because, again, it's t- there's no age limit. Because we None. said it was teenager, None like, there's some people that struggle with it in our age yeah. right now. Like it's a There's very- some people that struggle as parents in their 50s, in their 60s. It's still a thing, do you understand? And mm. so, and so, um, which is why I said it's it's it'll have a lot to do with um, if you do it with reason, you know, because we can also say that oh, don't watch uh, things that would just you know pollute your mind negatively. But there, in those things that are polluting your mind, there are certain things you can take from it that are still lessons, you know. Like uh, if people say don't watch horror movies, they are bad for you. I'm sorry, but there are certain aspects of horror movies that you take a thing or two from, and you're like, okay, you know what? I know that they've shown this to me. I might never experience it, but if yeah. I do, I kind of know what to do in that situation. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's about taking what you want from me, but also understanding that you've gotten to a point that this has no value to you, right? Which is why I said in the teenage years, you can't grasp the concept of value. You don't really know what is valuable, what is not valuable. You're just taking things in. You're just taking the stuff in, right? It's when you get to your early 20s to late 20s that you start thinking about the things that are valuable to you, things that are not, what I, what I should do away with, what I should, you know, like how you mentioned about women. In your teenage years, that felt like that's the only thing you really need to get. Ah, once I can just get women. You grow up and you're like, I'm sorry, but this woman brings no value to me. Imagine that the conversation has not changed, right? This woman brings no value to me. Why am I speaking with her? I bring no value to her. Why are we here? So you see what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, so I feel I feel like <clears throat> I feel oh, like thank you God for growth, man. Because there are some days <laughs> yeah, we did yeah, not know. We yeah. not and know. and I think when advising younger people, which is one of the things we need to talk about as well, if you're going to be talking to your younger, don't don't come with the energy of chastising or just mm. you know 
don't do this, stop that, it's bad. No, because no matter what, the human brain would, especially the curious human brain, would never just know how to take those things in. Mm. Always open up to the f- open up the floor by starting with I've been here and I understand it. And when you say you've been here, give them instances. Yeah, well, like how know. like how we're talking about the porn star names now. I when, don't even like saying I've been here. I get what you mean. Like yeah, telling about it because it sounds like my uncle's going to be like I've been there. Yeah, no, but so it's not like, like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what? Let me guess. Like like my brothers now. Like when they try and tell me stuff, I'm just like, okay, let me guess. What's the situation like for you? Okay, did you do this? Okay, this is what. Okay, when you start saying this some is things, how I used to do it. Exactly. Now, right? and this is what, I would do in this situation. Exactly. Exactly. So that way, it's like you say, you share your story to let them know, like, yeah, you actually... That we're, we're on the same like, playing my, field on my this. My brother's yeah. not, luckily for me, they've seen it. So it's like, if I talk to them, it's like, when it comes to babes, he's not lying. Like, I will there tell you, you the honest truth about yeah. it, what you're going to probably expect, because I didn't have older brothers, so yeah. I was the... What's the word I'm Skip looking goats. for? Skip goats. Just <laughs> trial and Same. error. Trial and error. Trial and error. Exactly. Like I, just, like I exactly. said, I just made a TikTok now. I made it to 30 no children, thank God. But like, <laughs> mm, mm. Yeah. And yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. Even with every other aspect of life, really, if you're trying to correct people on things that you've had the chance to experience, right, always give the room for letting them yeah. be honest with you, letting them understand that you've been there in a way that is not, I've been there, but you don't go there. Yeah. I've been there, but if you're going to go there, these are the things I took from it. Because the truth is, regardless of what you say, they will be the ones to decide if they're going to go back to it. So if they're going to go back to it, okay, well, take this note, take this note, take this note of what I did when I went back to it and then decide if that's how you want to go. If you decide that you still want to keep going at it, well, at the back of your mind, you would know that I gave you the advice that this will happen. When you start seeing those little signs, you would know. So, you know, for some people like us, we saw the signs, but we couldn't do anything about it. They would see the signs and they'll be like, actually, you know what? He, to- he talked about this. I'm seeing it now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, like we said, please definitely comment when you watch this. Let's hear your opinions, your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe to our audio platforms, our YouTube channel, Menism's Podcast. And, of course, we're going to be having more special guests come on here. We're going to have more interesting conversations in our solo episodes. So, again, we appreciate it, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I am Michael Scenario. And I am more welcome. And we will see you next time on Menism's. <laughs>